The University Christian Church bells are a familiar sound in San Diego's Hillcrest neighborhood. But there used to be another melody ringing from the sanctuary. The San Diego Gay Men's Chorus rehearsed in the space for its upcoming Broadway concert series. But the group went quiet in March. Executive Director Jeff Heine says they canceled rehearsals as a precaution. There was still a lot of, of unknown. There was an unknown quantity to this, this virus back then. The show was delayed until next year. But we wanted to be safe. The last rehearsal was 10 days before Governor Gavin Newsom ordered all Californians to stay home. That directive goes into force and effect this evening. But COVID was already in the door. Four chorus members would later test positive and become one of the region's first community outbreaks. It hit me hard because I was like, oh, you know, you, you really hope it doesn't happen. There have been hundreds of outbreaks in San Diego County since then, and officials track those clusters to measure how much COVID is spreading. Outbreaks are one of 13 triggers the county uses to determine public health restrictions. But a KPBS review of the triggers found it's a complicated and evolving system. For example, there should be no more than six community outbreaks in a week. But we've exceeded that number for months. The San Diego Unified School District initially said classrooms wouldn't reopen until we met that goal. But both county and school officials are reevaluating this metric. For the gay men's chorus, news of COVID illnesses circulated just days after practice was canceled. A singer would post something on Facebook saying that they were home sick, not feeling well. Heine eventually contacted the health department. He said he was told the info helped them link the cases together. If they've been told to stay home or if they have tested positive, we have their names already. You're just helping us to connect the dots. County health officials connect a lot of these dots. At one point, staff confirmed 40 community outbreaks in a week. There are fewer now, but still more than the threshold. And the county's Dr. Wilma Wooten is giving the metric a second look. Obviously, we knew as things would open up that uh, we would have more uh, cases. So we have uh, asked two entities to look at modeling to determine going forward if that number should change or remain the same. That was a month ago. County doctors wouldn't give an interview for this story, but a spokeswoman says they're still reviewing the threshold. In the meantime, parents have pushed San Diego Unified for a clear reopening plan. It's not acceptable. But other parents are pushing to reopen only when experts say it's safe. UC San Diego's Dr. Howard Terras is advising the district on when that is. He says he acknowledged early on plans could change. The school board just okayed sending a small percentage of students back to limited in-person learning next week. It doesn't worry me to open schools more than we are now in the San Diego Unified School District, um, if only community outbreaks, especially the type of community outbreaks that we're seeing, um, is still not quite yet up to par. Meanwhile, all four San Diego Gay Men's Chorus members have recovered, including one who was hospitalized. Heine says he's not sure where or how COVID was transmitted, but he thinks at least one singer contracted it from his job in the medical field. We believe that's where he probably caught, caught it from, um, and not, not necessarily with the chorus at all. A county spokeswoman said linking an outbreak to an organization or a location doesn't mean that's where transmission occurred. But the chorus rehearsal space is still empty. God, I miss it. I really miss it. The chorus did briefly reconnect in June at Balboa Park. They recorded a socially distanced video to them singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. rainbow. Passersby recognized them. Heine says after canceling two seasons of concerts and profits, the experience lifted the chorus's spirits. And I think for the people who gathered too, I mean, it, it kind of gets you wondering, well, what? What would stop us from just going out into the park and just singing Christmas carols in December or wandering around or things like that? Their return to Broadway show is scheduled for April, but it's unclear what the data will allow then. Right now, live theater is not part of any phase of the governor's reopening plan. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.